Hello everyone, this is Gurul Khan Chakir's YouTube channel. Today's topic is Termination of Employment. Employers wishing to dismiss an employee without any reason or employees wishing to quit the job are required to serve to the other party a termination notice by observing the minimum periods prescribed in the law. The notice period changed depending on the length of service performed by the employee, ranging between 2 weeks and 8 weeks. The employer has the right to terminate an employment contract with immediate effect, provided that the employee is compensated in advance with an amount equivalent of the wage that the employee would receive for the applicable notice period. Upon occurrence of specific circumstances described in the law, the employment contract can be terminated by a party without notice. The terminating party having a good cause does not have to pay a notice pay. The employee can terminate the contract immediately without notice in the event of certain circumstances. Such circumstances include health-related reasons, unethical behavior or occurrence of a compelling event which causes suspension of work in the workplace for more than a week. The employer can terminate the contract immediately without notice in the event of certain circumstances. Such circumstances include health-related reasons, unethical behavior, or other reasons such as occurrence of a compelling event which prevents the employee from working in the workplace for more than a week. Apart from termination for good cause, employers who employ 30 employees or more have an exclusive right to terminate an employment contract based on a valid cause, provided that the contract is open-ended and the employer completed a minimum of six months of service. A valid cause may take its source either from the employee or the employer. On the employee's side, valid cause stems from insufficiency or attitude of the employee, such as underperformance, inefficiency, negligent behavior, aggression, or lack of harmony. On the employer's side, valid cause arises due to necessities of the workplace or the business. Economic hardship, technological changes, organizational restructures, shutdown of workplace or a portion of operations can be good examples for valid cause. As it is the case for termination without cause, employer must notify the employee in writing and observe the notice periods. Employers and employees are free to terminate the job relationship at any time by mutual understanding. In practice, parties often conclude a written termination protocol. The law defines two types of compensations with a view to protect the employees who have served for a certain period of time. These compensations are notice pay and severance pay. The terminating party failing to comply with the notification periods must compensate the other party with notice pay, unless the departure of the employee is happened within the trial period prescribed in the contract. The amount of notice pay depends on the employee's length of service in the workplace. In certain circumstances where the employee departs from the job, the employer must compensate the employee with a severance pay, provided that the period of employment continued not less than a year. The amount of severance pay depends on the employee's length of service in the workplace.